Hey everybody, welcome back to Left Paul Gaming. Today we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Final Fantasy 16. Last video, we had the conclusion of our interaction with Typhon in the Holy Capital. Sid died. Then we jumped to five years later. This video, we find out what's been going on in the past five years. Let's jump in. Oh, look at this. Benamir. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Sid knew it though. The boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. Water looks nice. A little slow moving, I think. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why the we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. <laughs> Oh, it looks like an airship. What a callback to Sid's The Hideaways. This is the new hideaway, huh? Alright. I'm down with that. I love all the Sid and the airship <laughs> tie togethers. Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Alright, what's this new hideaway it. look like for us? Welcome back, Sid. Finish with that lance. Oh, talk to Otto. Hopefully we'll get to see who else is still hanging out with us. Hopefully. I don't think we've seen yet. Um, Taria and Gav. Taria was our healer, and we know who Gav is. All operations are suspended until further notice. What? Yes, Captain. I'll let the others know. Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? At least not right now. None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Oh good. Understood. Gav did make it. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Who's this? Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. <laughs> Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. No, well, my son is powerful. Vivian Nine Tails. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? Vivian Nine Tails, what a name. Is that so hard to believe? Very well then. 
Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? <laughs> but the real question is... She's snarky. How did we get here? Oh, I'm sure you're going to explain it to us. What has Long though changed? Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. Look at all that blight territory, For which all that reason, blackish she gray. She continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on a crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Right, look at that. And certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the twins. The non-aggression treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. And you know what's going to happen. It's the about Holy to go Empire. down. The Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Things did get intense with uh, them you moving were born south. In Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me, and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. <laughs> right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. <laughs> Oh, I our uh, historian, our bookkeeper. Historian. All right, took a quick uh, stroll through our skills just to see what we had set, how many points we have. I haven't unlocked anything new. <laughs> like, I'm still just floating with the same abilities, but now we have Ramu's power, so... We're just expanding. Look at this! This guy's really stepping up. Used to be on the upper level of the mess area. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. <laughs> Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. On Gods and Men is the book we're handing over. Look at that. Leather-bound book. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. I don't know what that reference means. I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. <laughs> that said... I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Dang. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates, see if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. 
<laughs> Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogle. I <laughs> guess there is. <laughs> so, Harpocrates is tracking down information on Typhon well. for us. Okay. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Return to your chambers. Man, he's got a grand little area up there, doesn't he? Dang. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scout. <laughs> I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Don't tell me to rest, woman. I'm going to do it anyway. Could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Well, we got our answers real fast. Tari and Gav made it out after their little clip. Them grabbing stuff from Sid Solar. The reading table. Just other important things here marches on the empire at twin side something big hmm. well that's neat is his eye closed yeah it looks like it gav got beat up that night five years ago man what does gav have to say the republican army is on the march leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. More Mother Crystals? Five years in between trips to Mother Crystals, huh? Hopefully we speed this up a bit. But Otherwise, Clive's gonna get gray. Come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. So he Each still struggles with Ifrit. It's like something is holding me back. Ifrit, however you want to say it. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. So being a but team is, though, man. has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. I like the music. Me, it's definitely hyping me up no some. Burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. 
Yeah, you know, where is Joshua? He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. It doesn't seem like they I spoke that. out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Probably not going to till the end of the game. <laughs> The real Sid, not the assumed identity Sid. <laughs> Meanwhile, we see Joshua. Some different garb now. He's got a little red on him. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. Who's this person? It's only a matter of time before the twins are no more. is ever closer to its end and here we chase shadows tell me brother are our efforts in vain interesting we know who he's hunting now though which is good all right guys we're gonna cut this video off right here that was a little update as to what's been going on for the last five years, we got another clip of Joshua. We see that he's still journeying, adventuring, trying to um, battle against Ultima as well. When we saw him last, he absorbed Ultima into himself in a fiery prison, it seems. And now Clive is supposed to be doing other work. Maybe the work with the Mother Crystals affects Ultima slash Typhon's power and... That's how they're going to get rid of him. And Josh is like, you need to get moving, man. Like, <laughs> I can't keep holding this dude in. But to find out if that's really how it goes, you have to join us in the next video. Because when we come back, it is time for us to start digging into what we're really doing at this point five years later. We're going to take a trip back to Martha's Rest. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.